Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video at the beginning of March that Windows 11 could be getting tab support, as we can see in this screenshot, for the File Explorer. And at the time of posting that video, this was a hidden feature in the latest dev channel build at that time, build 22572, which allows you to open multiple folders in one window in the File Explorer, just like you have in your conventional web browsers with the tab support in your web browsers. Now, I personally think this would be a handy feature if it ever did roll out uh, to the Windows 11 operating system. But according to recent reports now, there's been quite a bit of movement uh, with this feature, the tab support in the File Explorer, in the uh, Dev Channel preview builds over the last couple of weeks, where apparently, after making its appearance in build 22572, in the next Dev Channel build 22579, it was removed. And then with a minor servicing pipeline update uh, in 22579, which pushed that to 0.100, it reappeared. And now, apparently, with the latest uh, dev channel build and the uh, latest beta channel build, 22581, the feature has disappeared and been removed again. So clearly, Microsoft um, is... Um, not really making up their mind what they want to do with this feature as it keeps um, being removed and then re reappearing and then it's once again removed. Now, um, Bill 22581, as I did mention in a video I posted yesterday, which I will leave a link to down below, um, did roll out earlier this, this week and it was quite a milestone as um, it was made available to the beta channel and also the dev channel, so which which means now that it's in the beta channel, those features in build 22581 um, will possibly make it uh, to the uh, next and first feature update for Windows 11 later on this year, version 22H2, also codenamed Sun Valley 2. Now, because the, the beta channel has access now to build 22581, which uh, is um, going to be very close to what we get in that feature update later on this year. Um, the dev channel now will start getting a whole lot of new experimental features and will soon include builds, which we will see the following year, uh, possibly see the following year in the feature update, which will roll out in 2023, which will be called version 23H2 and also a strong chance will be codenamed Sun Valley 3. While in the beta channel currently, uh, which is focusing on the will focus on the development of this year's feature update version 22H2. Now, with reference to version 23H2, which by the way the 23 stands for the year the feature update will roll out, and the H2 means it will roll out in the second half of the year. There apparently, according to reports, has been code found in the latest and newly released uh, preview builds which is has reference to version 23H2. So here we can see 23H2 in that code. The CU is the um, period uh, table uh, um, abbreviation for copper. CU stands for copper. So 23H2, CU 23H2, CU 23H2, CU 23H2, and we can go down the list. So this is a strong indication uh, in that code found in um, the latest uh, uh, preview builds that Microsoft is already starting to work on the feature update that will roll out in 2023, uh, which will land and um, roll out in the second half of 2023. And as I've mentioned previously, and a lot of you know, we are only getting one feature update now going forward per year for both Windows 10 and 11, which will appear in the latter half, the second half of each year when those feature updates roll out. Now, um, this is also a confirmation that uh, Microsoft isn't planning to change the version naming um, um, at this stage of what they are calling their feature updates. So this year it will be called 22H2 for Windows 11. Next year it will be called 23H2 and I'm sure that will apply to both Windows 10 next year as well. And um, as mentioned, if you're unaware, uh, Windows development branches are named after elements in the periodic table. So yeah, we can see CU, which is the uh, in the uh, periodic tables abbreviation for copper. And then if we just go back to that first screenshot regarding the tab support 
um, because of the movement, the backwards and forwards movement uh, in the DEF channel currently. Um, at this stage, it's not known if this feature will make it uh, to uh, the feature update rolling out this year, um, possibly in October, no later than November in this year, 2022, where we will get that tab support. At this stage, because of it you know, being uh, removed then reappearing and now it's removed again it's very hard to say at this stage what's what microsoft's plans are with us and if we will actually get it rolling out later on this year in version 22 h2 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one